Hey, this is Josh back with another lecture on how to build a fully mobile responsive website for your business or for a client in under an hour. And um, in this lecture, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to publish your site live. So um, in one of the, the lectures in the um, upcoming, I'm going to show you how to connect your, um, uh, your custom domain to the site. But for now, I'm going to show you how to how to publish the site and get it live, so you can you can view it live. And then I'm going to also show you under settings some advanced settings that we can change out. So, um, you know, one of the things that I know we didn't go over all of the different sections of um, for strikingly, but you know, these are things that you can kind of play with on your own and see what you like, what you want to use, and get creative with it. I mean, a lot of these sections are really cool. Um, you know, a team section is certainly something that's great to have on a website, uh, and and some of these other ones are really good. Um, so you know, you can play with these sections as much as you want. But my recommendation is to get a working, get your site published live once you get um, you know the the basics. Which to me, the basics are a home, an about us section, uh, a gallery of your work, a contact form, and connect with us uh, form. And then you have a full website. I mean, you have you know five or six strong sections, and um, publish that live. And then you can add other stuff in the Strikingly editor, which you're looking at right now. And you will be able to publish those changes without. Um, you, you'll be able to make those changes without them appearing live until you publish them. So. Anyway, I, I think that's a, a great way to go. That's what I've done, and it's always worked great. And then if you add a section that you're really happy with, then go ahead and publish it live. Just remember, you click Save. Saving your changes will save your changes in the Strikingly Editor to your website. But until you publish it, the changes won't go live. So you can save changes and evaluate how they look by looking at the Preview button and then publish them live once you're ready to go. So anyway, so we're going we're gonna to preview this site once again. And just take a look at what it looks like. Uh, make sure we're happy with the appearance of it. Oh, see, now this is where you'll notice some things that you maybe haven't done yet. We have not changed these buttons yet. And I mentioned we'd, uh, we were going to change these buttons out to something. Um, I don't think we've changed either of the buttons in the slider. Let's see if this links anywhere. No, it doesn't. So let's go in and change these buttons right quick. So on the home page, we're gonna we're gonna click edit this button, and in this button, um, I am going to uh, click that. Uh, I'm gonna click to the gallery from this button, or I tell you what, I'm gonna click to the contact form. So we're going to make that button read contact us and remember you can link it to different sections of your website by just clicking the number on the section. So uh, this is the first section, second, third, fourth, the contact us is the fifth section. So we're going to, going to highlight this and put number five and that will send people to the contact us section of the, the website and we'll test that in a second. And right here I want to, I want to send them to the about section. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to say, and here we're going to say, why us? And we're going to send them to section number two. Now you can, you can link them to uh, another website, like a, something off of the website, but I don't recommend doing that. And, you know, you want them to uh, contact you or put in their information. Um, so you want to link them to pages on your website. Because this, if you think about what this website is, it's kind of becoming like a sales page. So different sections of the site show them different things about your company and get them to want to work with you is the idea. So anyway, we made those changes to these buttons. So um, we're going to go ahead and save that. And then we're going to preview it. All right, so now this section reads why us, and it should link to us to that section of the website. So there you go, it links to the about section of the website. Um, and then remember that third part doesn't come in until you scroll a little bit further. So, and then we'll check out this next one. This links to the contact form, so this should bring us all the way to the bottom of the website, and it does. So we are good to go. So let's go close out the preview, 
and we're gonna go ahead and publish this site live so once you do that you just click publish and right now the URL is going to be uh, whatever you put in dot strikingly dot com so we'll put in my URL so redline HD dot strikingly dot com now for the purposes of uh, what we're doing of just publishing it this is okay but I know that you'll probably want to use your own domain which I'm going to show you how to do that after we publish the site live so the title tag for the site is what Google's going to read when it reads the site so what I'm going to do is something that will uh, index in search engines. So we'll do Redline Digital Marketing. And we'll put Social Media Consulting. And then Website Design. All right, now then select a product category. So we're going to say Business and then click publish now this will publish your site live and you'll be able to take a look at it it'll give you this redline hd.strikingly.com url and it gives you the option here to use your own domain and I'm going to show you that in the next video um, share on Facebook and Twitter but you can view your live site by clicking on that link and it'll bring you to your live site so this is what customers will see when they go to your site so double check the rotator here oh it's still loading rotators working the why us section video is ready to go this links to see our work so that looks good and then the contact form and then connect with us so um, that is how you publish your site live in the strikingly website editor and check out the next video. I'm going to show you how to uh, set up some advanced settings and then connect a custom domain. Thanks for watching.